We have some big news coming in as the DMK and its allies all set to launch a huge protest with regards to Central Balaji's arrest. Party is now belonging to the Secular Progressive Alliance led by the DMK in Tamil Nadu to hold this massive public meeting on 16th of June. The public meeting to be happening in Coimbatore at 5 p.m. Meeting will be condemning BJP's anti-democratic, anti-people, vindictive, autocratic actions, quote unquote. Shilpa, for more on that, uh, Shilpa, tell us more on DMK's allies now wanting to... DMK directly is not uh, holding a meeting, but it appears all the allies, the parties belonging to the Secular Progressive Alliance, led by the DMK, are all going to gather. Uh, who are these parties? Does it also include the Congress? Uh, well, yes, Nabila, Congress is very much a part of the Secular Progressive Alliance uh, led by the DMK in Tamil Nadu. The other parties are MDMK, VCK, CPI, CPIM. Uh, uh, MD, uh, and uh, several other smaller parties. Uh, this is, of course, a rainbow coalition that the DMK is leading in Tamil Nadu. And they've now put out a statement that they will be holding a mega public meeting in Coimbatore at 5 p.m. on 15 June. And the meeting, of course, has been organized to condemn the BJP's anti democratic, anti people, and vindictive autocratic actions. Clearly, uh, this is in response to this uh, arrest of Sandil Balaji, a very powerful minister in the DMK government. Uh, it's not just the DMK, we are seeing support pouring in for Sindhil Balaji from across political parties. Uh, Congress President Malik Hajjan Kharge, uh, uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, Mamta Banji, the West Bengal Chief Minister, NCP Chief Sharad Pawar, all of them had also put out statements condemning the ED's actions against Sindhil Balaji yesterday and today. And now, of course, the Secular Progressive Alliance parties in Tamil Nadu have decided that they will launch a massive public meeting on June 16th in Coimbatore, which is also uh, one of the areas where Sindhil Balaji has been focusing on the western regions of Tamil Nadu. Uh, Sindhil Balaji has been extensively working in that region of Tamil Nadu for the party, for the DMK. So that is the reason why probably the teaching has been kept at Coimbatore. Uh, so that, of course, will take place on June 16th at around 5 in the evening. All right. So clearly, uh, we're seeing th that Sentil Palaji right now seems to be in quite a condition, at least as for doctors at the Omadurai Hospital, the government hospital, they claim that he has three blockages and has to undergo angioplasty. This is, uh, of course, uh, right at a time when ED has sought his arrest. And let me tell you that that government hospital right outside, we, ha we see the RAF uh, security officers who are guarding the hospital to ensure that Soon after, Sentil Balaji is uh, fit to move out of hospital, that they take him into custody then. All right, now we, we see that the ED now, as it's probing the cash for jobs uh, racket, they, they believe that Sentil Balaji is likely to be involved and money laundering charges largely has been uh, more or less leveled on him but that's what they're probing into that investigation will give us some more clarity but let me take you through central balaji a quick history of uh, this man it appears that he's been head on with the bjp for quite some time he's had uh, quite a rivalry with anna malai had raked up uh, tamil Nadu bjp chiefs uh, rafael watch scandal one should remember that anna malai owns a Rafael watch. Sentil Balaji was the man who asked for the bill for it, asked where did Anamalai get all that money to actually buy an expensive watch of such nature. We also see that he had demanded uh, at that point Anamalai to produce that bill and like I said Anamalai then went on to produce the bill, uh, hold, held a huge press conference, went on to uh, come up with uh, something called the DMK files as well where he exposed a lot of um, alleged corrupt activities within the DMK in response to Santil Balaji's allegations. Now we're looking at the same Santil Balaji who's also slammed Tejasvi Surya, BJP MP. In fact, he was the one who called out Tejasvi Surya for opening an emergency exit door of a flight uh, of an Indigo aircraft back in February. And this was, in fact, it hit headlines. At that point, Air India got back, or Indigo, uh, beg your pardon, got back to say that it was a mistake. Now, meanwhile, BJP has also blamed Sentil Balaji of trying to cut off power or disconnect power from Tamil Nadu, uh, uh, areas of Chennai, when Home Minister Amit Shah was very re recently in Chennai for a visit. He was holding uh, a meeting with the BJP cadre, and that's when, right when he was exiting Chennai, his pa the power in the streets were cut, and that has been blamed on the electricity minister, Sentil Balaji.